Hi guys, Mr. Roth Waffles here. I know you guys have been grinding, looking for the best possible easy strats for solo players or just anyone really to grind schematics in Modern Warfare Zombies, especially if you're trying to get a bunch of ray guns in your stash. Like I think I've got two queued up for me to use right now. I've got a bunch of Wonder Wafts in there as well. And I've been doing the exact same thing. I've been trying out a bunch of different strategies, but the one I'm going to be testing out today is one that I haven't done too much of before, but I've heard is really, really effective. And so we're going to kind of evaluate together whether or not it is the best method for farming these schematics, but we're not just going to sit in the menus the whole time. Instead, we're going to be starting with the very beginning of my game. And you'll notice here that I don't have any teammates with me. I've spawned in solo, but you can obviously do this with teammates as well. There's no reason not to. The very first thing I'm going to do is zoom my way forwards here and try my best to find, aha, look, that's amazing. One of these portals. So if one of these portals spawns in close to you when you uh, start your match, definitely take it. And take it usually facing inwards on the map. I'm going to put my shoot straight away and I'm going to look around for the points that you can grab for these things. Sometimes there aren't any or sometimes they're just very, very hard to spot. It looks like in my game, I don't have any immediately obvious points. That's unfortunate. Sometimes you'll be able to basically grab like 2000 points or so just from grabbing that portal. So that's a, a really, really worthwhile thing to do to spend your time on. Uh, and a lot of what we're really going to be focusing on today is trying to find ways to minimize the amount of time that we have to spend getting set up and just minimize the amount of time that we spend doing anything other than farming the actual contracts that we want to farm. Now, I'm going to go towards this vehicle here because you are going to want to grab a vehicle early in your game, but I'm going to grab these points actually, because again, the three points, like that was 500 points for doing zero work. And granted, it would have been more if I'd been able to find more of the points drops on the way down, but there is another portal here actually. So we might as well just make use of our good fortune and grab this. And I can always just come right back here and grab that vehicle and keep on with my merry way. But if I can get two grand from this and look, there you go. There we, that we have an actual points drop here. So let's, let's make use of this. I'm going to make sure I actually grab them now. That's always the risk. They do move side to side. So as you're going down, just be very wary of that. And you can drop like that, like I just did, just to speed yourself up a little bit. If you're impatient like me and you want to make sure that you're using your time as effectively as you possibly can. There we go. Look at this. We're earning so much money from basically just doing nothing here. Like this is so much faster than doing a contract. And it's also moving us deeper into the... Ooh, Okay, I did get that one. Nice. A deeper into the map, uh, which is going to be beneficial to what we're about to be doing. So I'm going to grab that. Already got 3.5k. And never mind, already got 4k. Like, that's nearly pack a punch. I'm nearly there. And, like, granted, I've brought some stuff in. Uh, so, like, I'm actually going to use these here. Uh, if you want me to do a video where I don't bring any stuff in, then I could totally do that for you guys. That would be totally fine. But just, like, while I'm here, let's just drink those as well. And before I go towards tier 3 here... I'm actually going to stop off at this ammo box. That's another really important part of the strategy is when you spawn in, I've got decoys right now. I'd highly recommend you bring decoys. I think that they're the best tactical equipment in the game. They are basically a monkey bomb, but without the effort of finding the monkey bomb, they're fantastic for that. And I'm going to do this to get myself up to three decoys. We can just very quickly slice and dice a couple zombies here. Slicey dicey, yummy, 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 slicey dicey. There we go. And in just a moment, boom, look at that. Also loot cash registers, dude. 400 points just for looting that. That's crazy. There's actually also going to be one in here. So I might just sneakily yoink this cash register. That's another 100 points. Thank you. And now when I run around the back, the zombies might have actually forgotten I'm even here. Amazing. Uh, and what I can do is I can drop my decoys, drop drop so i've got one in my inventory and then i've got one second remaining oh come on dude okay wait for it there we go got two more decoys now and so now the ones that are on the floor i can stow those that's one stowed let me just grab the other one here boom that's another stowed grab my vehicle reverse the hell out of here i'm actually going to reverse through here just to get myself a little bit of extra repairing done so now that i've got all that decoy stuff i'm going to head towards this this way <laughs> Okay, I'm going to crash my car. We're already pretty close to being able to pack, which is pretty fire, but we're not going to be packer punching. So I'm going to scoot my way around here and I might switch cars just to have one that's fully topped up because I'm not going to not going to go past another gas station. So let's do that. Let's just scoot my way out of here. There we go. Just slightly more, slightly more topped up car. I'm looking in tier three, not for a mega abomination. We don't want one of those. Excuse me, buddy. Sorry. Oh, that really massively damaged the car. That's very unfortunate. We're looking for 
a deliver cargo contract. That is what I'm looking for. And I'm going to go and run over to that now. No, doggo, don't destroy my vehicle. That's very rude of you. Naughty boy. So we're going to go and I'm actually going to climb up here and I'll leave that car there for just the time being. Just because I can... Where's the climb up here? I always forget where it is. There it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on now, game. Be nice to me, why don't you? So let's grab this contract. There we go. And then let's high tail it out of here. Now, yeah, I'm leaving the car there because it's just really useful being able to run backwards often. Like you want to be able to retrace your steps and have sort of quick getaways. And those cars are really ideal for that. So to do this deliver cargo, we need to break into this little gas station area, right? And the best way to do that is to honestly have death perception on. The reason being, you can see the guys that are in there. Like I can see that there's a zombie right there. There you go. Chuck a decoy here. There we go. Let's get that freaking door open. I always forget that part of the step. And then get in. There we go. And then honestly, I've just got to hightail it out of here. And this is going to earn me 5,000 freaking points. It's going to earn me a lot of points. So I'm going to quickly check the map as I go. It looks like... This one is out the front and then to the left. So let's take this left here. And then we're going to not take this first left. We're going to take the second left, which I don't think is... Oh, it is this little dirt path. Okay, perfect. And we're 200 meters away from it. And we've just got to gotta get ourselves over there. Pretty much ignoring the chopper. Like, we don't need to be too stressed about that chopper. It's all good. That's where the cargo is. There we go. All right, look at that. I've already got 9,000 points, guys. Also, it's so key to just consistently mantle in this game. Mantling 24-7 is just the best thing in the world. Did I get anything good? Uh, I'll take the cryo. I got tier 3 armor, which I've already got, and I got self, which I don't already have. So I'm going to really quickly grab that self. You just use one of your decoys. Don't be precious about it. It's for a free self revive. It's worth just really quickly grab that. And I'm like, there's no point in me taking the free play armor vest. It does nothing for me. So I've got my 9,000 points, okay? What that means I can now do is I can hop back in this vehicle and I like hopping in the opposite side to the to the driver side just because it gives you a little bit more coverage when the zombies are trying to attack you as soon as you get in the vehicle because they can take you down during that and it's really frustrating. But that's, that's my preference for the sort of like flow of how I do that. And then I'm going to look for a wall weapon here. So I'm going to go forwards and I'm going to check this wall weapon to see if... Oh god, I'm gonna navigate through, try and avoid the zombies as much as I can. If it's gold, it's gold, but it's a shotgun. Might try my luck with something else. Sorry, zombie ran you over, buster. So yeah, let's head towards that wall by instead. I think this one is on the other side of this little bridge area. Am I gonna be able to see it there? That's purple. Okay, no worries. Let's check this one over here. And then there's one to the right, and then there's one further up if I need. And I'm gonna go through the gas station again just to give myself a little bit of extra charge, trying to avoid the zombies as much as I can. That's key. It really is key. Oh, it's not repairing. There we go. A little bit of repairs there. A little bit of fuel as well. That's that's an important aspect of it. So this wall gun is Oh, that looks like a spicy meatball. Okay, here we go. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. So I've got an orange weapon now. And taking my own advice here, I'm going to get in the side of the car opposite the driver's side. That's a lot of zombies, so I might actually just decoy this. Nah, it should be okay. should be okay. So getting in opposite the driver's side. There we go. Just to make sure that the pathing is fine. It makes me, makes me sort of stay safe during the activity. And I probably am good to do the spores contract here. I think that's probably the one that I'm going to do. I'm just going to drive away from the zombies a little bit just to get them out of my out of my face there's really no sort of stress at this point I'm, I'm i'm all good i'm all set i do need armor but i can buy some armor if it if it really comes to it i can i can do that that's okay so let me oh my god the ether bike is here oh sick okay i might have to i might have to grab that you know that might have to be a yoink yeah i think so so i mean if you find the ether bike Grab that puppy, being very careful not to be taken out while you're riding it, of course. But the good thing about this ether bike is that it's really easy to hop on, hop off, and get, like, armor and stuff like that from the zombies. Obviously, I'm just being a little sketchy here because I don't have any armor on whatsoever. But this thing is, this thing is crazy, crazy powerful. It's so good. So let me, let me try and do a little U-turn, take out that one zombie that's ending my life constantly. There we go. Boom. Take out you guys as well. Nice. So I've got my 5k points, so I can pack a punch now. And let me just real quick, like there's literally an armor plate right there. Let me just plate up and grab a couple of the other bits and bobs that are in this in this area. Don't really want that weapon. Don't really want the prox mine. 
there was a little bit of extra armor here, so I'm just going to grab that. There we go. That's the beauty of death perception, babies. I can just literally run over and nab it. I don't have to stress about, oh, where did I leave the armor? Nope, it's literally all right in front of me. Death perception is so powerful. So let's run back over to the bike. Hop on let's that go. bad boy. And so honestly, now... The best thing for me to do is twofold. One is I'm going to go to Pack-A-Punch here, and I'm going to use the Pack-A-Punch on my gold weapon, not on my knife, on my gold weapon specifically. Uh, so let's just cruise on through. I'm going to try and make it easy for myself to get out of here afterwards. There we go. So pack on my first weapon there, easy peasy. Let's also, while I'm here, equip Cryo. Cryo is really, really good for pack. Now, I brought in this, this tier two crystal, but honestly, you don't have to do this, but... I mean, I've wasted the points now, but uh, just for the sake of, of sort of showing off the strat, you could absolutely use that there. Also, seeing as I have one decoy, I'm going to equip those. Also, don't be scared to use that pulse. If they're going to take out a load of your armor and stuff, just use the pulse. You're going to charge it back up. It's totally fine. It's chill. So now that I've got that done, I'm going to look for That's one of these contract bounty contracts. Available. Now, if it gives me a mega bomb, it's going to make my life a little bit more tricky. I don't have a sentry turret right now. So that's something that I'm not going to, I'm not going to prioritize just at the very, very beginning here. But let's, let's just cruise my way over to it and see what it actually gives me. Because you just never know with these things. You really never know. So should be in here somewhere i actually can't see where though lol that dog froze instantly is it on this side maybe aha there we go lovely uh, and it's a mangler perfect okay so the good thing about being on the ether bike this is gonna make my life a lot easier i could totally do this otherwise but the good thing about being on the ether bike is that i can just have a little cruise here and take out any errant zombies that are in my way any annoying little happy chappies that are having a bit too much fun that super sprinter needs to go thank you sir goodbye i'm about half charge on my pulse let's try and take you out and this little group of them there we go so the the thing to be sort of aware of with these sorts of activities is that the zombies will absolutely take you down while you're on your vehicle or while you're doing other stuff like that is just the, the sort of biggest priority thing that you need to really be aware of is that you are not safe basically as you can see you can be safe as long as you're just like methodical and slow about it this should get me my pulse blast there we go and if i do this that's a contract done. That's 5,000 more points. So not only is it 5,000 points, it's another tier three contract. I'm going to just scoot around the corner here. Could use a decoy to grab the reward, but I'm just going to send it. Uh, let's stow that. So let's get back on the bike and look for another contract. There's one just here. And now I'm going to avoid the contracts with uh, the tank for now because that's going to leave me exposed and they're just going to be a lot harder to do. Uh, so for the time being, I'm going to just tactically not do that. Also, while I've got like no zombies around me, I think this is probably a good time to plate back up. That's the beauty of speed cola. Makes sure that you get those plates on faster. And... Lovely. Now, what I would be doing, if I didn't have the bike, I would be, again, uh, cancelling contracts, actually, to make sure that I could get myself... Oh, that's the storm. Oh, spooky. Oh, wait, that means Stormcaller's going to be here. Oh, I could take out Stormcaller. It won't get me contract money, but it'll still get me, get me money. So, not the end of the world. Yeah, I'd be cancelling contracts to try and get those deliver cargoes, because they're just so easy. Like, they are outrageously easy for this zone. But seeing as I have this, like, I might as well use the firepower that the universe has given me you know what i mean so let's just scoot our way on down and again this one is gonna be a mega bomb now i've never actually tried the bike against mega bombs before so this will be an interesting test the thing that i'm gonna have to be careful of i think is that beam i think that's probably gonna be the thing that is most sketchy about doing this but we'll see what the pulse blast is like on the mega bomb and we can just we can go from there luckily i'm pretty mobile so i don't think that the mega bomb's gonna have that easier time taking me out here and to be honest with the money that i've got I could just buy myself like a jug suit or something. Oh my goodness. I could just do that, but we'll 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 try the bike first, seeing as I am getting some zombie spawns. Not many. For tier three, this feels really kind of outrageously calm, actually. Not gonna lie. I'm not really sure. Did the new patch mean that they took away the Xville spawns and they also just took away a load of other zombie spawns? Possibly. Honestly, possibly. Do a little U-turn. Get all of these guys. There we go. Feed me. Feed me. I feel like little shop of horrors audrey 2 in here all right so i'm gonna drive towards boom that did absolutely nothing okay so 
now you know. Now you know, guys. That is not the way to take down the Mega Abomination. I, uh, I have officially tested it, and that's not the strat. So I'm going to chuck a decoy real quick here. I'm going to see... Let's buy a sentry. Let's do that. Lovely. It's fine. Yeah, you can... You can... Oh my god, what the... That was weird. What the... What is going on? What the hell was that? Well, that's BS, dude. I've never had that glitch before. So if you want me to jump back in and do this on another game and maybe do it without the ether bike so that you guys can like copy that strategy a little bit more easily as well and I can really show off the whole thing, then drop a like on the video and leave a comment saying that you want that video made and I'll see you in the next one.